Hi, I'm Helen from Woolly Chic and in this short video I'm going to show you how to make corner to corner triangles. So corner to corner doesn't always have to be square. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, triangles and then in the next video I'm going to show you how to make corner to corner rectangles. So we're going to start with the slip knot, place that on your hook, and then chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you don't want these chains to be too tight or too teeny weeny as we're going to be putting our hook into the fourth, fifth and sixth chain from the hook. And we're going to do three trebles. So yarn around the hook, then we're going to find the fourth from the hook, which is one, two, three, four. Place our hook into the stitch, yarn around the hook and pull through the stitch. I've got three loops on my hook, yarn around the hook, pull through two, yarn around the hook and pull through two. Do that again for another treble, yarn around the hook into the fifth stitch, catch the yarn, pull it through, pull through two loops, pull through two loops and again the last treble crochet stitch in the last chain, yarn around the hook, pull through two and pull through two. And then we've made our first block in the corner of our triangle. So we're going to do that again. Six chains, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn around the hook into the fourth. So that's one, two, three, four. Treble crochet stitch into that chain treble crochet stitch into the next chain and treble crochet stitch into the next chain. There we go. So then I've created three treble crochet stitches and a chain three here where you've got a space underneath those chain stitches. So I'm going to turn and find that chain space Put my hook straight into the space, pull through to make a slip stitch. Then chain three, and three trebles. One, two, three. And then I've increased from one block to two blocks and I'm ready to do my next row. So on every increase row you start with six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six and then turn, treble crochet stitch into the fourth, fifth and sixth chain from the hook. This is my first treble, second treble, and third treble, and these are UK treble crochet stitches. In America they call them double crochet stitches. So then I'm finding the chain space underneath those three chains and putting my hook straight in and making a slip stitch and then working three chains and then three trebles into that chain space. So that's one, two, three trebles, and then a slip stitch, three chains, and three trebles. And that completes that, that row and then I'm ready to increase 
for my next row. And you carry on doing that for as many blocks you need along the bottom and matches with the um, blocks along the side. So there'll be equal number of blocks along the bottom and the side and along the steps along this side as well. So I'm making a triangle with eight blocks either on each side and I'm just coming up to the last couple of blocks so finishing this one off and then you need to remember to always do a final block in that final chain space so don't finish it off too soon So here is the final chain space and I'm going to put my hook in, make a slip stitch and then three chains and then three treble stitches. Okay, so there I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. And as you can see, they look like steps, don't they? They look like steps. Now, for the pattern that I'm making, I need to make this edge much straighter so that I can crochet it to an, another square or a triangle or a rectangle. So in order to sort of even out that edge and take away the steps, I'm going to turn this piece of um, work and slip stitch along the first three trebles so put my hook straight in and pull it through the stitch and the loop that's on your hook and I'm going to do that three times and then I'm going to also make a slip stitch into that chain space just like we did before so this is what you would do if you were decreasing and then making it into a square. You'd carry on with your three chains and three trebles into this chain space here. But we're going to just make a triangle. So I'm going to do one chain, a double crochet stitch, then a half treble, yarn around the hook into the space. I've got three loops on my hook. Pull through all three for the half treble, yarn around the hook and in, and then I'm going to make a treble crochet stitch before making a slip stitch into the next chain space. A chain, a double, a half treble, and a treble, and then a slip stitch. You can see that those stitches have filled in the steps. Chain, a double, a half treble and a treble. And then I continue all the way to the end until I get to the last chain space. chain, a double, a half treble, and a treble, a slip stitch, oh, that was a chain, a double, a half treble, and a treble, and this is the last block that we're going to be doing that, repeating that pattern. So a chain, a double, half treble, 
and a treble and then we're just going to finish with a slip stitch and I, I could do I I could do a, uh, a a chain a double and a half treble and a treble in that space just to even it out depends the sort of shape you want but that then as you can see evens it out so therefore we've made a triangle using corner to corner crochet